Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm in the shop today. We're going to be doing some work after we got back from the uh, car show deal. Um, the rear mount radiator setup is working great. It usually stuff doesn't work out that good for me, but this thing is, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It cools really, really good. I know I've said that before on other setups I've had, but this really does. It It won't even get over 170 hardly, and that was a that was a hot day out that day, so. Um, yeah, a couple things have changed. I know I keep saying I want to get to the track, get to the track, get to the track. But I really want to get this thing how I really want it, how I've always wanted it set up. I'm really close. Um, so I'm just going to do it, I think. Uh, or at least eyeball and see if it'll work. Um, as you see, there's no pipes on here. I have sold my air to water intercooler setup the pt 1000 that was down here and the ice box that was in the trunk and the reason i went away from that is because i just don't like having the hassle of having a big ass box i don't want to mount it in the in the cab with a bunch of long uh boost pipes i don't want to have to run water lines from the tank clear up into the engine bay and the big thing on air to water it works awesome it really does it works great but uh you have to buy ice all the time and and i don't want to have to screw with buying a five dollar bag of ice every time because one bag of ice like i don't know what they are if they're 10 pound bag 15 pound bag whatever that only lasts like two runs and then it's already lukewarm just melted water so and it's just not streetable so i kind of want to get this to where yeah, it's fast as hell at the track, but I also want to be able to, a lot of the tracks are doing these um, like 30 mile cruises before you get to the track and uh, to qualify for the, you know, the, the street racer class. So this thing needs to be able to do at least a 30 mile cruise there and coming back. So uh, air to water, not that you're romping on it on a cruise but if you ever wanted to or if you want to go to mexico with an air to water you're like oh wait i gotta go get a bag of ice and then get out of the car open the trunk load a bag of ice in there versus so what we're gonna do is i've talked about how i wasn't a huge fan of running uh water meth which i've done in the past but uh it's really the only way that i'm gonna do this because i i'm not gonna run this car on methanol you have to change way too much to put the car on methanol as its primary fuel. So we're gonna just, uh, I'm gonna put a water meth kit on here. No intercooler, uh, but this new water meth kit is, I I spent a decent amount of money on it. It's real high dollar stuff, it's from ProMeth. I'll probably do another video, uh, an unboxing and kind of a, a setup video on how to do it. it uh, it's pretty cool, it's their Volute injection. Uh, basically, you tap in two spots on the compressor. It has a solenoid, kind of like a nitrous solenoid, and it sprays the water meth directly into the compressor housing of the turbo. And what that does is it it really greatly increases the efficiency of the actual turbo. You, it'll boost the boost up, I don't know, a couple of three pounds of boost or so, or so they claim. And uh, when you do it there, it gives it the most amount of time to pull heat out of the charge temp versus if you were to spray it like right up here at the throttle body. And the actual spinning of the turbo really helps pull heat and mix that water meth solution really well to get in, into every square inch of the, the charge pipe, I guess. So that's supposed to be coming. We're gonna get that set up. But in the meantime, I could just make a uh, kind of like a, a curve here and it curved like that just make a, a charge pipe and just run my existing kit but what i've always wanted to do like the cool street outlaws guys the guys have been doing forever and now especially that i don't have a, a water pump that sticks out to here i've got all this room for a down pipe i really want to move the turbo forward like this like up in the grill um i don't have like a cool pro mod bumper but this is all cut out you know, I might cut a little bit out like this, uh, just so you can, just so that turbo now, especially that there's no intercooler on it, um, 
it can suck as much clean air, what I'm calling clean air is outside air versus you know how it's in here with the hood on you're going to get stagnant air and it's going to be decently hot just coming off of the the exhaust pipe and the engine block and heads and stuff you know it's probably worth it ain't worth much doing this you might, you know, you might pick up two or you might pick up five horsepower doing this but i uh, just mostly for aesthetics plus i've got the engine bay like really cleaned out like it's it's a little jewel i'll call it right here there's nothing over here nothing over here anymore so if this was turned front it would all just be you know symmetrical looking so i'm going to take this off today kind of mock up how it may fit uh i'll have to get uh a mounting maven performance makes these little drain mounts that are really cool um I used, we used one on Gary's car, worked out really good, I'll probably do the same. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. Okay, turbo's off, and anybody who knows, those freaking S400 series Borgs, they weigh like 60 pounds, they're heavy as hell. They suck. But anyways, any, if anyone ever wondered what this turbo kit looked like, here's what it looks like. I built this myself. You got this runner, these are just a set of shorty headers flipped. This one runner loops just comes up. This is an open flange, uh, pretty decently merged. And then this one just comes over like this. It's real similar to like a pony down kit. And then I've got this little uh, hymen coming off the frame to support it. You need some sort of support because that turbo is so heavy with the vibration, you will crack your welds or your headers. And then I had originally a single wastegate that came just right out of the middle here, but it would not control boost. So I ended up having to add two tile 44s off this. They come off the, off the, this one's not perfectly ideal. The other one's pretty good, but it controlled good. But if I redo this, I, it'll be even nicer. This is like the th second or third kit I've made for this car. They get nicer every time. My welds get better every time. So this, if I redo it again, it'll be the best one yet, hopefully. All right, guys, it is the next day. I know it's like instantaneous for you, but I've been busting ass on this and uh, let's show you what we got here. Boom, turbo is mounted. I have this bar here. It's part of this tube front. It supports the kind of bumper skin. I just kind of built a mount to uh, the bolts to the turbo just to hang it. I don't know how permanent that will be, just but it gets it exactly where I want it for when I build the hot side. I went ahead and built the uh, cold side for it. Turned out really nice. It it uh yeah, it looks pretty good. Kind of just loops back up. Uh, the oil oil drain is done. It still managed to go downhill all the way. And uh, I had to cut this a little bit. Um, yeah, the hot side's gonna, how we did Jake's car, if, you, if you've seen that. This one here is gonna loop around, and then it'll like curly cue in, and then this one will just come and like kind of just up and over into this. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a video when I do the hot side, but yeah, it'll be side mounted instead of down. It just worked out a lot better. I, I can't even do it down with the oil drain here, so. Yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, I didn't want to, here's it, boom, right out the grill. It's still kind of kind of hidden a little bit. I didn't want to come, most guys will come clear to like where this seam is, flush, but I can't do that anyway. I've got this motion waste race, because this is an LX. All the cars you see that do that are a GT style bumper where this is all just one piece. This is all exposed, the LX bumper, not too many guys have them like this on LX. So I'll show you uh, what it looks like with the hood on and uh, yeah. Okay guys, here it is with the hood on. I think it looks. I dropped, I had to drop the turbo down a little bit to get that. I really wanted the center of the, the blades kind of in the center of the grill. So yeah, I mean, just from first glance, you can't really see it, but if you look in there, 
looking right at you. I think, I think it looks pretty freaking badass. I haven't really seen any other cars done quite like this. It looks pretty darn clean. So yeah, I'm real happy with it. So yeah, just stay tuned guys. Uh, like I said, that ProMeth stuff is gonna be coming. So we gotta drill the turbo and mount all that. And then I've gotta get the, I've already got a billet style T6 divided flames. That's something else I'm gonna be doing on this is I've never ran this car with a true divided hot side that's supposed to help them spool better. So <clears throat> it definitely can't hurt. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing all that in the next coming videos. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.